Okay, good morning once again from the packing shed in West Mersey. It wasn't my intention really to come out here today. Um, I was going to paddle down to Osi Island, uh, which is quite a long way down there, down the River Blackwater, uh, to activate Osi Island. But it's about a 14 mile, maybe, uh, return journey in the kayak from here. And yesterday was really scorching and I kind of considered that maybe today wasn't the best day to do that if it was going to be like that again but as it turns out it's actually quite a nice cool breeze uh, but anyway so I made alternative plans I'll save that for another day I have activated OC Island before um, but um, I've never filmed it so instead um, I'm going to activate Ray Island which is over yonder let me show you which is back down that way um, but uh, I can't do that until high tide uh, because it's kind of surrounded by mud So I've come over at the packing shed uh, If you saw the video I did last week you will notice or you will know that I Had a problem with the dipole here that I normally attach to the to the flagpole and it works pretty well and I needed to get a, another plug and change the plug on the end which was a BNC um, so I'm going to do a bit of soldering I've got my gas soldering iron there. We have got uh, electric here in the shed, but I have to start the generator and it's just uh, too much more hassle than it's worth, basically. And also, um, I want to talk a little bit about the uh, about the channel, about, this, uh, about my YouTube channel and um, some feedback that I've had. Slight spanner in the works, but um, I've sort of changed my change my plans I cut the coax here the RG174 it's actually uh, you can see it's kind of um, discolored and corroded and I think some salt water uh, has got in there and through sort of capillary action gone up a little bit not sure how far it goes up until I keep sort of cutting away at it which I'm not going to do uh, not not now anyway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cut uh, cut this up uh, not now I'm going to take it home with me cut the 20 meter um, elements off and I'm going to use that um, and put uh, ring connectors on the end of that that will connect onto the ballon. I'm going to do likewise with the 17 meter version. And this here, this is uh, this is what I use for the uh, for the vertical, um, which uh, I use uh, just a, a roach pole. Normally put it out on the beach here, and I've got three elevated radials and one uh, radiating element um, going up the uh, up the pole. And then I feed it with a little homemade triangular <coughs> feed point arrangement. With this little, uh, which I'll uh, put up on the uh, put up on the video. I show the underside of how it works. And then that goes in there with banana plugs. And I've got a little, a little choke there. There's a boat going past. So uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, so I don't think I'm going to do any operating out here. It's, uh, it's quarter past nine now. Um, so by the time I've had some breakfast, uh, which I need to cook, um, then uh, hopefully the tide's come in a little bit. Hopefully I'll be able to get over to Ray Island and activate that anyway. So. Okay, I alluded to this earlier on, but um, I'll talk about it now. Um, triggered really by a bit of feedback that I had... Uh, from my video from out here last week uh, where somebody said that uh, suggested that I uh, start filming when I get to the shed because uh, kayaking had nothing to do with ham radio now that sort of mystified me a little bit because the name of this channel certainly at the moment is called 2E0 WMG ham radio and kayaking and last in that last video you got a bit of both so I'm not really quite sure what the guy was expecting. Now there's plenty of uh, plenty of channels out there that do uh, ham radio, and there's plenty that do kayaking, and I watch uh, quite a few of both of them as it happens. But there aren't really that many that I've seen, or none, in fact, that sort of combine the two. And the reason why I combine the two really is because they're sort of the two things that I like doing. They're my sort of two passions, really. So if I can combine my two hobbies, then it's a bit of a no-brainer to actually do that. And if other people find it interesting, then fair enough. And what I try to do is sort of take people along 
with a bit of a journey really and uh, not just sort of stick to the radio so hopefully try and create something a little bit different that's engaging and not necessarily all about ham radio I don't post any purely kayaking videos anymore which I used to years ago or not years ago I haven't been running that that long uh, but sort of when when I first sort of started uh, so I don't really do that anymore um, because I'm not sure if it sort of holds enough interest uh, for those people that aren't you know they want to see a bit of radio maybe even if not exclusively all radio um, but also what I like to do I say is take people along for the sort of journey because and, and I've had comments to that effect really because where I live which is in Colchester sort of 10 miles north of here but where, where I live around here I really love it I love where I live not necessarily where I live but I love my area shall we say and uh, I like to share it with people give people a little bit of sort of the history a little bit of the geography I'm not an expert on either of those two things really but um, I'm kind of proud of, uh, of where I live <clears throat> so if people want to watch something that's solely about ham radio well then there's plenty of channels that do that um, but this isn't it so I have no intention of really changing it and uh, I don't mind constructive feedback I don't mind feedback even if it's not constructive to be honest with you uh, but like I say nothing nothing's really going to change uh, with re with regard to the content and sort of mixing it up a little bit in fact what I'm going to show you in a minute I'm going to make myself something to eat, which has also got nothing to do with ham radio. Okay, so uh, this is what I bought. This is called a Ridge Monkey. And um, it's basically like a sandwich toaster, but you can do various things on this. You can even make pies in it. Um, if you just uh, search on YouTube for Ridge Monkey, uh, or sort of a Ridge Monkey recipes, there's loads of different recipes of things you can make. Anyway, I'm going to make a ham and cheese toasty. So I buttered some bread earlier on, um, got myself some ham and some cheese. There's a slice of cheese under there, you can't see it, but it's under there, and two slices of ham. Ooh. And put it up that way up, close it up. Um, these handles actually come off. You get these little uh, cooking implements uh, included in it that actually pack inside. I'm not going to use them. Um, and I've got my little stove here. I'm actually going to take this outside and uh, and cook it because uh, we don't allow um, naked flames in the uh, in the shed. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Look at that. That looks nice. We flip it over. There, golden brown. And. Uh, the, the actual the two halves of this can come apart so you can use them as a, a frying pan and I'm not sure if I mentioned but the handles actually come off as well because uh, it comes in this little neoprene carry bag which is handy but there you go that looks nice let's tuck in okay that's everything away everything tidy time to make my way now to uh, Ray Island so you can see the tides come in So this is the sort of extremity of Ray Island which goes all the way down to the kind of wooded area there. So on my left we've got Ray Creek and on my right we've got uh, Strood Channel or Strood Creek. So that goes all the way down to the Strood which is the causeway that links uh, Mersey to the mainland. Okay so this is Ray Island kind of proper as it were and uh, I'm going to head the other side of the sort of trees and uh, the little beaches there. Okay, here we are. Well, um, I've had a bit of a disaster because 
I've, <laughs> I've actually forgot to bring the dipole. Uh, so uh, it's not going to happen. And um, I've got a dipole in the shed that I could, could go and get. But by the time I get back to the shed and then get back here and get set up, uh, the tide will be... Uh, tide will be going out so it's a bit of a disaster really but you know nobody died but what a beautiful day so sorry no radio unfortunately okay that's that then I've got me tarp Oop. I've got me tarp over me legs looks a bit strange and it's uh, quite hot under there because obviously because it's black but uh, it's keeping the sun off anyway Right, let's go and mooch about. I'm seeing if I can get through to the other side uh, into uh, Strood Channel. And I've gone up a few dead ends. It's one of those things, that if you could see from above, it would be a lot easier. But it is like a maze. And do I go left or do I go right? I'm going to go left. And I think I've done it. Almost. This looks promising. I feel like one of those great explorers that has uh, found a passage through to the new world. Bye.